heartbreaking. Obama just made disgusting announcement about his daughter. Never expected that. The Obama family was spotted by paparazzi doing what they're best at doing. This time it was only partially paid for by taxpayers. Half of the Obama family was on vacation in Miami, soaking up some sun, spending taxpayer money on security that had to travel. That's when it got bizarre. Former President Obama became quite strange and creepy, even though he wasn't spotted on the trip, but sure had something odd to say about it. Only Malia and Michelle were located in Miami, trying to soak up the taxpayer's son, and Barack still found his way to be mentioned in the article about the girl's vacation. Nonetheless, Barack was pathetic, but that's nothing new considering he went on an apology tour during his presidency. The Daily Mail captured Malia and Michelle Obama in photographs as they pranced around Miami, hitting up elegant restaurants and flaunting their body in bathing suits while the taxpayer-funded security loathed behind begrudgingly. The article spoke about what the Obama girls were wearing, where they were going, and it was quite stalkerish. The job of a paparazzi to legally stalk people while they're doing things is creepy. But then we bring it back to Barack Obama and his chat about his daughter, and that's where it becomes strange. Daily Mail reported. The former first lady also sported a long white blouse, a bandana and large fold hoop earrings for the outing. Malia was looking similarly casual alongside her mother in a tan hoodie over her swimsuit, of which just her black bikini bottoms were visible. The tall teen toted in her hands a pair of white sneakers and her iPhone with a charger. She also was carrying a hefty-looking book, perhaps a bit of holiday break homework from Harvard University, where Malia is due to return later this month. The ladies looked as though they didn't have a care in the world, appearing as though the post-White House life suits them just fine. The day at the beach appeared to be all about girl time as former President Barack Obama was nowhere to be seen. The former first lady also sported a long white blouse, a bandana and large fold hoop earrings for the outing. Malia was looking similarly casual alongside her mother in a tan hoodie over her swimsuit, of which just her black bikini bottoms were visible. The tall teen toted in her hands a pair of white sneakers and her iPhone with a charger. She also was carrying a hefty-looking book, perhaps a bit of holiday break homework from Harvard University where Malia is due to return later this month. The ladies looked as though they didn't have a care in the world, appearing as though the post-White House life suits them just fine. The day at the beach appeared to be all about girl time as former President Barack Obama was nowhere to be seen. The Daily Mail spoke about the details of the girls' vacation before it transitioned into what Barack Obama was up to and talking about. He was babbling on about his talk with Letterman and that's where it became pathetic and readers must have become a bit creeped out. Obama's chat with Letterman was a drooling confession to his pathetic self, something many readers have known about since watching the former president rule the greatest country in the world with no guts, glory, or manhood that fellow men would look up to. Daily Mail continued. He discussed her move-in day with David Letterman on the talk show Legends new Netflix project My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman. Obama told him that he speaks with his daughter regularly because he is pathetic, adding President Barack Obama said he was a wreck when he dropped his daughter Malia off at Harvard University. The 44th Commander-in-Chief discussed move-in day when he appeared as the first guest on David Letterman's new Netflix talk show My Next Guest Needs No Introduction with David Letterman. Obama then described how he speaks with the 19-year-old regularly because he's pathetic. It was like open-heart surgery man, Obama told Letterman of moving his oldest daughter into her college dorm in August 2017. And it was was interesting to see how everybody handled things differently. Michelle had a cleaning glove and was scouring the bathroom. Sasha tries to be cool because she didn't want to admit that she was going to miss her sister so she was helping make the bed and fold clothes. I was basically useless. Useless? Pathetic? Why don't they tell us something we don't know? It's peculiar to describe yourself as inadequate or pathetic. That's not what people want to hear considering this was the 44th President of the United States. Former presidents aren't supposed to be pathetic. They're supposed to be leaders and not weaklings bowing down to their daughters. How can she look up to him if he's self-professed as pathetic?
That was a bizarre conversation with Letterman. Letterman.